gosh darn good game coming our way. Yeah, absolutely. Pulled out all the stops with this matchup. We've got Mark D from Ewok Squadron against PTL's own godfather, Aaron P. Aaron P is rocking resistance, and Mark D is playing uncharacteristically uh, rebelist because mm -hmm. he's usually first order Imperial. So Samit was like, what the? Blown away like he even owned rebel ships. But yeah, that's what the PTL Opa does. It just makes you dust off those ships you never even br popped out of the conversion kit to play. Yeah. So Mark is playing Wedge, Ra, Zeb, Ra, Na and two Nave Squadrons with R3. So with the E-Wing, they can lock across the board. It like, it's like old long-range scanner. And uh, with the R3, they're able to put on two locks. So a lot of people like to do that if they're playing the E-Wing with a torpedo. But Mark's just going for raw efficiency here. So he's just going to put on a couple of choice locks and roll. And then uh, Aaron P also going for maximum efficiency. But yep. on the resistance side, he's got uh, three Red Squadron experts with Heroic and the integrated S-Foils. And then Super... The uh, Madam of Super Efficiency, Jess Pava, with BB-8 Astromech and the S-Foils. So really, really, uh, really battling the, the efficiencies on the light side. Yeah. Generations of good guys. And so all of this, uh, all of Aaron's list is rocking all at I-3. The, uh, the, BB the BB units on low cost, um, sorry, lower initiative uh, T-70s is really cool because it's a... It's a different type of play style for them. They don't normally think about it, and the, the, they're priced aggressively enough that it it bears looking into when you're taking lower lower initiative uh, T70s. Absolutely. But it, it can let you do some funky stuff. But we were saying off air earlier that um, everybody kind of is thinking that the Nave or the, just the E Wing in general is often slept on, but uh, at 55 points with. Going into an, ex an engagement with two target locks and a focus token with three, you know, three <laughs> backed up by three attack, three defense, yeah. three shield, three hull. Like it's a, it's a really solid value for a ship. And then Zeb in the Shethapede. That's crazy, Bill. I didn't even know Zeb came in a Shethapede, but there you go. So we're just four ship on four ship. Just gonna start out, meet somewhere in the middle. Rocks are placed. Time is rolling. Mm-hmm. So Mark already showing us the ability, the chassis ability of the E-Wings, target locked, uh, oh, yeah. it looks like Red Squadron and Jessica Pava each with the, his two E-Wings. Yep, just Star dropping. Three Astro, allowing him to take two locks from across the board. Just dropping it across the board, just yep. like, this is for you for later. Yeah. Just hang on to this. So it looks like both of them are sticking to the, uh, you know, this squadron block formation. You know, of course, Jess, that's where she's she's definitely going to be sticking with that. Yeah. Um, whereas Mark could potentially you know act more independently because he doesn't really have um, you know synergistic uh, yeah, value the, to that. The knaves could really peel off on their own. I feel like Mark's going to really want to keep Zeb near Wedge to give him that coordinate as often as he can. Mm -hmm. That really ups Wedge's potential. If you give him a focus in a target lock, it's he could. He would roll up to the first engagement if he so choose with target lock focused shots from all of his ships except for Zeb. Yeah. Which is actually no nothing to sneeze at, right? Not at Wedge all. Wedge has that um, passive defensive mod where he strips one of your evades away. Yeah. And now he's got, you know, three attack dice with target lock focus. And then the E Wings can do whatever they want as well. So. Yeah. Could also let Wedge boost, which is what he did there. So I don't suspect that we'll see a lot of quick maneuvers. I think we might see these players take their time. Try to play mind games, shadow box, feel each other out before committing. Yeah. Or we might see an inevitable middle midboard scrum. Yeah. So again, PTL open format is each player is playing uh, is bringing to the tournament three different lists and gets additional tournament points if they do mix it up throughout the Swiss rounds. Yeah. So if you fly each of your lists twice, you get uh, a set of prizes. Yeah, no, and, and also prices. and also additional. Oh, we are doing the additional, additional points still tournament as well. okay. points too. Oh, so you, sure if we were still doing that. This yeah, season. so you'll be higher in the yeah. standings if yeah. you do. So everybody here is, uh, you know, opted to go for that. Yeah, and I think even in our first ever PTL Open, we had every single player. Uh, I think only only one was unable to do that just because their collection didn't allow them to do so. Yeah, uh, but everybody always buys into the format, which is amazing. He's got the locks in place. He's just putting in a 
focus. Right, so the E's have chosen that they're going to go that way. Let's see if Wedge and uh, Zeb follow along. Maybe Zeb will give us a hint. Okay. So Zeb uh, might be giving off the tail, but uh, he and Wedge will be pincering in another direction. Maybe, yeah. I think it sounded like Mark was saying that he wanted Zeb to crash. So we'll see. Maybe he has something funky planned with uh, Mr. Maybe. Mr. He's plopping the coordinate down uh, to give Wedge his focus already. Yeah, he's giving the boost. I was about to say that must mean his foils are down, but then I forgot those were T70s. Yeah. They can just do that. Super Interesting that he's uh, splitting up the formation. Yeah, that is a little bit weird. A little bit uh, unusual, but he's got a lot of room to form back up, and we've got two nice lanes right here. Yep. Also, if Mark really wanted to get cheeky, he could bring the T-70s out, sorry, he could bring his um, E-wings out along the, his board edge. He could, he could, but then they risk, you know. Being, being caught in, out by themselves. Bad, yeah, and being in a bad position. And that would take him at least three turns to get that back T-70, uh, sorry, mm -hmm. back E-wing into yeah. the game. Because the knaves are not as, not quite as durable as the, uh, as the T-70s, like the E-wings aren't, they're not quite as durable. Right. They do have the extra agility die, but you know, shooting at lower, uh, shooting at lower initiative value. Yes. And having, you know, the the one less uh, agility, you know, that can make the difference. That's definitely a factor in this match because, as you were, you just said, other than Wedge, every single ship on Aaron's list is going to fire before Marks. Right. So yeah. he has the opportunity to initiative kill everything except for Wedge. Right. And he's got a lot of firepower. He definitely has the firepower to do so. Yeah, amazing synergy on Aaron's list, having everything integrated at three, so he can just flip, flop, switch around activation value to be able to, um, you know, not only move mm -hmm. where, how he wants, when he wants, but also do that with shots as well. So he can put out his optimal shots, you know, first or last, whoever he thinks will be, you know, greatest benefit. Yeah, he can do fun things like barrel uh, Jess with his BB unit to self-block the guys behind him, still giving Jess her re-rolls and giving them shots. There's there's all kinds of different fun <laughs> stuff you can do with the initiative order in different areas. Yeah. All right, so here we go. So Shethapede getting back into the formation. All right, doing those coordinate, getting good use out of that. Actually, the other thing I was thinking about too, with the Shethapede there, coordinating focuses that leaves the knaves open to take evade actions and making them even tankier absolutely. than they already are. Absolutely. Or allowing or them to do stuff like that. Or boost. Maybe use of their integral boost. So I... Ah. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful maneuver. Perfect. Mark was saying, let's see if it bumps first before we say it's nice. <laughs> yeah, but... You know, make no mistake, definitely, uh, I think Aaron, and uh, pardon me, Mark, he knows he knows how to maneuver a ship. That boy can fly. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Yeah. That is not an understatement. He paid the iron price for those system open templates. Yes, he did. And <laughs> Aaron P. saying, I want none of this joust on your terms, good sir. <laughs> I will have at you on my terms. That's correct. So he still has a hard three around that rocket X round. He's, I think he's deciding... If he's going to boost or not. Yeah. Bank boost seems enticing there to cut that angle down. If he's looking to pincer. But yeah. he might not be after that. I'm not, I'm not, I've played, I've lost to Aaron enough to know that I'm never <laughs> sure what he's <laughs> thinking. But he's always thinking something smarter than me. That's usually the case. He does, he does uh, have a great mind for X-Wing. Yeah, he definitely sure. does. He's also a phenomenal teacher of the game as well. Yeah. So I do like that maneuver on my end. I do like him just getting that safety around that rock. It allows him to do mm -hmm. hard two, hard three changes angles. Yeah, and to he's be also able not to do the flank. Okay, so playing it conservative, just doing the one forward. I suspect we'll see T70 number four do a hard two. I would two think turn. that that's... 
you know, safe to think. Yeah, that's that's how that's going to work. Oh, he's going to lead with Jess. Is he leading? No, not Jess is in the back. Okay, that's Jess in the back, which makes sense. Yeah. Gives her maximum versatility. And she also, she's double target lock, so. Yeah. You know, he's keeping, he's cleverly taking the target locked ones, putting those way in the back, so. Trying to force Mark to use an action on the lock again. Or right. reduce his potency by not yeah. allowing him the target locks. Yeah. Yeah, agreed. Oh, I think we're going to see an old-fashioned center board scrum, though. Yeah. Here comes Wedge. Oh, just the one forward from Wedge. So he's got to watch. He doesn't get himself caught out of the fight. I feel there's no need for Mark to commit his Wedge early. I feel like he wants Wedge to come in second. That's true. He doesn't want to get Wedge uh, definitely uh, burnt out yeah. quick. Point-wise, he's the same as one of his knaves, but I don't. you wouldn't... I wouldn't say that Wedge is less important or as important. I think he's more important than either oh, no. the Knaves. Yeah, he's definitely, he can definitely dominate if you let him. Yeah, I'd sacrifice a Knave before I'd sacrifice Wedge. Yeah, especially with the initiative value difference. Right, so we're out of range for any combat this round. Okay. Back to dials, everybody. So the question is, who does Aaron decide to attack? I feel like he wants Wedge but he's too far out to get Wedge on this enga opening engage. Yeah. Yeah, and he's got his T70 number three out there. Kind of out there. You're just going to be just shooting from the back, but maybe that's what he wants because that's where the locks are. Okay, so that answers that All question. Right, definitely. He does have room. the space, and he is supporting. Yeah. Also getting the added benefit of hiding behind the rock. Yes, that makes sense, you too. Know, because he's giving away his action, he needs... All the all the bonuses he can get. Here we go. Given Wedge the focus so that when he hits, he can take the target lock and hit hard. And here we go. So Mark has made his commitment. He's banking on uh, T70 number two. Just getting, <laughs> just going to walk in there and take some and fire. Take yeah. But he's also covering the escape with that one. Yeah. Yeah, the two turns, which makes sense. Yep. The question is, are we going to see the focus or are we going to see a boost? Mm, I think that if he doesn't boost, he's not even doing anything this round. I don't. I think he might be out of range, possibly. I mean, but I don't think that if he boosted, it would change if it was range three already. Oh, I see what you're saying. So there's really no point. The, the odds are just as bad. Yeah, so it all depends. Again, with the angle, a little bit hard to judge that 30 centimeters. Okay, uh-oh, number two is definitely committing in two. It's hot. And he just quickly focuses, just committing. Yeah. Fully in. Congo firing line. Laying down those fields of fire. I mean, they they will be able, he will be able to dump at least two range one shots into the nave, and I'm assuming Jess is gonna do a three bank, or? Yeah. Yeah. He's banking on an initiative kill here. Yeah. All right. It's an interesting formation style too though, because he staggered them, he has a lot of options to break them up, to talent, to yeah. two turn them. Like Absolutely. they can all continually point the same direction in a Absolutely. situation where you normally would not be able to. Yeah. Here comes Wedge. Just with a one heart straight, mm -hmm. so. Rebel special. So, wings open, locking. Yep. Locking the front guy. Yeah, locking T70 number two. All right, here comes Wedge. Firing, measuring to see if it's range two or three. Think that if the dial fits, three? Yeah. it's range three. The, or if the range ruler fits. Dial, yeah, those dials will fit in there. Just define. Oh, dumping the dice bag. Choosing some lucky candidates here. So he'll gain one, lose one because of Wedge's ability. Okay. Is he going to spend the focus? Is he going to spend the lock? He's going to spend the lock. He's going to spend the focus. 
Okay. Spend the focus for optimal efficiency. Is he going to spend the focus? Absolutely. He spends the focus. <laughs> Just one shield. Yeah. What's better than <laughs> not? <laughs> I mean, yeah, what's better, three shields or one shield? I mean, you want to keep it for offense, but it makes sense. Yeah. So Aaron will get all of his shots on to Knave number three. Yep. And Knave number three at Just range one. three is four dice, defense, and he's got the evade. So there we go. I think he'd start from Jess. Oh, no, that makes all sense. All right. The range one. No mods. Oh, one, one shield on the knave, on knave number three. Okay. Got a second range one? No, nope, looks like it's range two. Yep. Here we go. Focus is for three. Hit crit crit. Nasty. Spends a focus for one shield damage. <laughs> All right. Okay, so Jess got the range two unobstructed shot. Yep. She, her ability kicks in here. Mm -hmm. Not going to need it. She's just going to yeah. focus. I mean. Okay. Two more. It's down to one life. Oh, no, two hull. Yeah. But he's still alive. Still he is alive. still alive. Yep, and he gets to return fire. Sure does. With his three dice. Just checking arc here for Zeb. Let's see. Well, we might get a judge call here. Might call the marshal. Impartial eyeballs. And they decided, nope, it's out. It's out, yeah. All right, skipping. Spend the focus for two. Ooh, takes two. Two damage on number two. All right, now set up for the range one. Oh, that's oh. a lot of eyeballs. Oh, Still goes gets through. A crit through. Crit bang. Oh, look at this fancy card, deck of cards from Nationals. Rebel card, or oh, it's resistance, yeah. or I don't know. So half it's a ship traded for half a ship. What I've got. Fuel so leak. we got a fuel leak going on. And for the first time today, a crit token on the board. <laughs> so we'll remember the, our crits. Not the first. Devin and Tim, also, you were using their crit tokens. Oh, to that's true. No, Tim had the customized ones that showed yeah. the minus ones. And yeah. I actually really like those tokens. Those are nice, yeah. All right, and so, we're dialing again. I mean, uh, point scale-wise, almost a even trade. But in your mind, was mm -hmm. it an even trade? Uh, well, I think that's, you know, for, for both players, I don't think either player's gotten any ground. But, you know, both of them almost have dead ships, so yep. it's going to be this next round will could be quite decisive on who uh, who gets the upper hand right this, now. This will be interesting because this knave can still f K turn he could. and still have a target lock. That's true. Whereas Aaron can't do that with any of his ships. That's right. Is there a way where he can dig in and really punish um, a wedge right now? Ow, I don't know. I don't so know. wedges, uh, foils are open. Yep. So Mark could theoretically, it's no, it's really tight, and I don't like it. I was saying if there was a way he could he could coordinate a barrel ship right, <laughs> and then he could do something funky and that get would, wedge over there. Uh, but I don't think that's possible. That would be pretty funky, all right. <laughs> uh, alternatively, he could go and move the Shethapede here and then barrel Enough. roll in there, that's but true. that's not really a good spot for Wedge to be <laughs> yeah. before he moves. You have to be really funky, and then you just like, just ride or dies over that rock. Yeah. But Aaron's got a lot of a lot of options with his formation, the way he has it set up. The thing here is that Mark gets a lot of blocking potential, because he's got initiative too, so he's yep. got these double modded blockers that have yeah. six health and sit on three evade dice. Like That's right. That's however, right. as we saw, that knave, you know, just yeah. just got through that yeah. round alive, right? Aaron yeah. had two ineffective shots and he did what did he do? He did five four damage on two shots. Yeah. Yeah. He better not try that again. Just sit there and soak damage. It's yeah. just not gonna work out for that guy for another turn. Better to hang up get him out of the fight a bit so he can just hang on and just come back in. When everybody else is a little bit more pain off. Yeah. 
Aaron just considering very carefully all of his options for the best. Mark, of course, is his main uh, sparring partner is uh, former national champion Bo Han Lee, who also really likes to analyze when he's playing the game. Yeah. Just to, you can see almost see the, the wheels turning in his head when he's playing, just like he's making all the calculations, looking at all the possibilities, like Doctor Strange. Yeah. Uh, just like, okay, yes, uh, out of 700, 7 million uh, different <laughs> different possibilities, this is the best. This is the, there we go. Every I like, time. <laughs> I like it. I think we're coining it now. You heard it first, Bullhan <laughs> equals Doctor Strange. <laughs> it's happening. All right. So. There he's go. Coordinate. So I think so. that means that. K-turn. We got a, we're going to see a K-turn coming. Or a one forward bump. Oh, no, a sloop. sloop. That's right, because they Hello. have those now. Surprise, we can sloop now. Yeah. That's what I love seeing the the refreshed one, uh, ships from the previous, like from 1.0 that we don't, we forget. Like, yep. Yep. The we never had that before. Yeah, because it wasn't, wasn't part of the game when they were, exactly. when they launched. So E-Wing came in on first edition on round four, uh, and sloops didn't come around until rain, Seven, until six, six the, uh, when scum IG, came right? in. With IGs and the Star Vipers and, right. and uh, wave six. All right, and that's here come the T-70s, yep. all of Aaron's ships. Oh. So Aaron decided, I'm going to go the one spot you can't kill box me. Yeah. So he's, yeah, so he's getting his wounded guy out of the fight. Yeah. And, yeah, and Mark very much trying to clog up lanes and, uh, you know, make, set up that, evil evil kill box for wedge to just one forward and uh do some killing doing wedge style yeah aaron was saying he really did want to try to block wedge but he also didn't want to sacrifice a t70 this early in the match yeah yeah here goes that guy he's got his juicy juicy uh shot in the tail of that e-wing that's the fresh e-wing Considering the focus or possibly the boost, goes for the focus to make your dice just work that much better. Yeah. So my dice, if I roll them and I don't have a focus token, they're really bad. Yes. They're just basically a coin toss. But if I have a way to change them after I've rolled I have them, a focus, they're really though, quite good at times. They're all all really good. Well, is he going to BB-8? Yeah. Oh, he BB-8s. Oh, I on the outside. A, that's a nice one, Mike. Okay. Let's see what happens. Here she comes. All right. And that's just BB Astromech, not the BB-8. Yeah. So. Just two charges. Yeah. But and incredible value for what they are in low initiative ships. I think you can have them for one or two points on the low initiative T-70s. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a lovely maneuver. Yep. Gets a good get spot just for next turn. Yeah. Nice, nicely done. All right, Wedge, what do you got, buddy? Yeah, and Aaron's got his uh, damage ship almost completely out of the fight altogether. Yeah. And so Mark's got to start work all over again. This all exactly that. He's got to try to chew through one of those super point-efficient T-70s all over again. How the only advantage that Mark has on this turn is that he can, if he likes, put four shots into the same ship again. Yep, but he, once again, and Aaron has the ones that are target locked by the E wings. Out of the fight, yeah. Completely not as optimal target, so really smart play. Just, all right, Wedge is doing the range two shot. Ooh, hit crit. Nice. And an evade, so one he's, shield he's off of the one. Definitely happy not to have spin a focus there. Okay, all right. Now it's uh, now it's Aaron's turn to get those three shots in there before Zeb and the E wings get to do whatever they can. Yeah. So now he's just walking through his decision trees. Like he's got mm -hmm. Wedge is fully focused, so he's like he's got yeah. three shots on Wedge. They're not ideal. They're range threes, almost all of them. Two yeah. of the three of them are range threes. So yeah. I don't know if he likes the odds there. Yep. He's and the damaged E wing is right out of it too. Not optimal target. He's only got. Potentially two shots on that one. 
So I think his decision tree is now, does he go after Wet, Zeb, or does he go after... I think he's going to go after that E-Wing. I think that's probably who, who oh, Aaron's going to... Zeb. He's going to do Zeb. Tokenless Zeb. Just eliminate that guy. Okay. All right, so tactical decision. Soft target. So it looks like Aaron is piling damage in a Zeb. Oh yeah, I think makes he, sense. I, makes sense. He doesn't want to give. He doesn't want to allow him to continually coordinate his, his yeah. uh, heavy hitters. I like that call. Looks yeah. like an unobstructed range too. Yeah, with that's with Jess, so she'll have her reroll as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, did a little bit of space turbulence. I believe is the. Scientific term. scientific term, yeah. yes. yes. Just dealing with All these. that turbulence that exists in a vacuum. Okay, so here comes Jess and on to Zeb, range two. Uh, okay, well, she's going to do her reroll. She could spend her BB unit charge. Okay. Ooh, mm. Still alive on one. Oh, he has two life left, I think. Zeb should have two life left, I believe. Mm, I don't see the damage cards on Zeb. Oh, it looks like he's got three damage cards on him. Having there a look you at this go. Thing. Okay. So then Knaves firing range one. That was first shot with Zeb. Whoa. Ho, 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 ho. That's money. That is so money. Oh, man. Shield Two hits and a crit. Boop, oh, no, that's right. That crit's going to squeak through. Another fuel leak. Fuel leak. All those fuel leaks. Is everybody's deck just today. stacked yes. with the Everybody fuel leaks? Everybody brought 52 cards of fuel leak. <laughs> or 32, whatever it is. 33, baby. 33 fuel 33 leaks. 33 fuel leaks. <laughs> <laughs> Special card. Oh, he's got the range one there. Ooh. Oh, it's range, range two. two. Just, just in, just, just outside, just outside. It's a range two shot. Because nubs don't count for range, right? Uh, I don't believe so, but that's how they're playing Yet it. Yet another critical hit token appears. Two hits. Oh, nice. and the major just denying, just disrespecting, like whatever you want. Mark just politely asks Aaron to stop rolling that every <laughs> yeah. single time. Aaron says it was it's, only twice. It's very polite. <laughs> it's a very polite banter on the table. This one's wholesome. We could play this this tape audio. Yeah, this is. If we switched this track, voice track with the Previous last game. last match voice track. We got two damaged ships on each side now. But as far as position wise, I think that Mark is in a really good position. Uh, you know, to continue to engage to pour pour on the pain, whereas Aaron is going to have a couple of ships that are going to need to be doing some work to get into where they need to be. To That's true, because Zeb yeah. can take this this laneway, right. coordinate a focus for Nave 4, yeah. who can then K-turn. And he still has his back arc to be able to yep. contribute. And, and then this guy can K-turn, and then this guy can just go one forward or two forward and, and thing, yep. and he can just one bank, and he can still have tons of targets, whereas this T-70 has to turn around. Yep. Jess has to try not to get bumped, blocked, or destroyed. <laughs> this guy is in a weird situation, too. So, yeah. I mean, I know it was a very technical drawing I had up there. Zeb's at one hall. Okay. Zeb's just hanging on. So He would Zeb, like to have gotten Zeb last round, for sure. I'm sure Aaron would yeah. like to have had Zeb yeah. last round. And Zeb is fine. You know, he's really done being drawing off the fire from the heavy hitters and still handing out those coordinates. That's is, true, right? He's really just doing his job. That's what he's there for. Every round that Zeb's alive after this round is a gift. Yeah. And, a, and a bonus yeah. for Mark. Yeah. And like we've seen with other matches, you know, don't ride a ship off until he's off. Yep. He's still around. And as you were saying, too, he has a rear arc. If, if he ta doesn't take it seriously, you know, you might find yourself getting a range one rear arc shot from a ship that you forgot to care about. Okay. So I think that guy's doing a three sloop. Yeah. Oh, Okay. All right. Doing a little corner.
Maybe those target locks will finally come into play that we're putting they in have yet turn to. one. They have yet to. But that's to. because it, that was, you know, Aaron denied him. Yeah. It was like, yeah, I'm going to put those ships you target locked right where you can't use those target locks. So maybe finally <laughs> those will come into yeah. play. Yeah, right. so one forward and clears. Okay, so one forward with other. And now... He'll be available to receive receive a mod, but Mark's not doesn't have high hopes that he's going to survive long enough to be able to do so. I don't think he's going to do his second mod on or second coordinate action on that guy. Ooh, that's a solid, solid block. Yeah, that's taken up essential real estate there for that T70 to come in slow. And he's also looks like he's blocking a Talon. Yep. Which I don't know why he would Talon roll that way, but still. Yeah. No coordinate. Zeb going to actually take an action for himself now, that greedy, oh, that greedy punk. Shocking stuff. With one hull left, he decides, yeah, I'm going to take an action. All right, we're on to Aaron. Um, yeah, he's, so Mark's just moving Aaron ships for him. Doing some T-70 Talon rolling. Okay, foil closing. I see a barrel roll coming in. Okay. It's the two straight or two hard turn. Oh wow. Okay, just trying to block wedge. I wonder he was thinking he might try to fit a barrel roll. That's why he did the Maybe. Well the only reason you'd want to close your falls was because you wanted a barrel roll. I could see him wanting to do a block wedges two forward. Yeah. Wow. He's going to focus here. Yeah. Focus. Whoa, ho, ho. Just in case he gets some shots from the E-Wing, number four. Jess is the one that I'm a little worried about. She's the one with the BB-8, so she can there say, she she yeah, no, yeah, no, no, no. Uh, 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 uh. I'm going over here, everybody. That's his last charge of BB-8 on Jess. Oh, sorry, BB on Jess. Yeah, BB's, you know, BB's done BB's job. Mm -hmm. Use those charges. There's debating he's going to fit in the crack between the E-wings. Just going to double check. Yeah, both players. Aaron definitely does not want to be in that crack. He does not want to be shot in the backside there. Yeah. Oh, he might actually fit in between. I don't know. Oh. Yep. He oh, fits. he does. He does not like that. No, but he doesn't that is like where that at he all. Is. He just said that ain't good. <laughs> He's not lying. He's definitely not lying. E-wing number four is like, this is amazing stuff. Yeah. He's this like, I totally planned it this way. This <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, BB. Well, had he not done that BB barrel roll, he would have sat right in front of both met range two anyway. So this yeah. gave him a fighting, surviving chance. Yeah. And it's Jess, so looks like she might be close enough now to T-70 number one. But here comes the wedge. What happens? Oh, this T-70's got to yep. come in. Come in for the fun. All right, we've got a real good old-fashioned knife fight here. Aaron's not going to get blocked. He's just going to get in there. Takes the focus. So the players are talking on the player side. Now they're saying that Wedge was, sorry, Aaron thought he might do a K-turn. Okay. And Mark was saying that in his play style, if he thinks there's even a 20% chance of him being blocked, he doesn't do it. That's, Especially that for a red like, maneuver. That sounds like him. It's a smart, I mean, but it's a, it's yeah. a smart play, though. Like, you don't yeah. want to risk taking a stress for no reason. Yeah. Hyper precise X Wing surgery going on. Yeah. Two layers of acrylic. Mm -hmm. All right. Remove, remove. All the little hash marks in the world are definitely going to help us keep us on, on point on this. Yeah. But they've got their hands planted. So wedge blocked. So wedge has got a range one? Or range two to, uh, to range two to Jess. Range two to Jess. The untouched T70. With defensive rerolls. 
So range two oh, to Jess. That's one hit. One of a... She's going to take it. Oh, he's saving her charge for uh, the uh, fence on wedge. That makes more that sense. That makes sense. That makes more sense. Look at the score on this game, 48 to 45. Mm, it's super tight. So Aaron is elected to fire with the one that only has one shot option to help him decide. And yep. the complete bl blank out makes it more difficult to choose. I wonder if he'll use her charge. No, he's not. He's going to hang on to it for defense. No, he's going for it. Nope, he's nope, leaving. He oh, he is going for it. He's okay. going for it. I still think it's right. Or not. It was the right call. Down. I think the offensive reroll there was the right call. Field down on the T65. Measuring. Oh, Range yeah, one. Oh, yeah. Oh. Spends focus for two. Okay, Wedge. Two more. Boom, boom. Wedge is deciding to never evade. Yep. Both these players using uh, damage decks they got at the national mm -hmm. Navy national for being the top faction players yeah. mark was one of the was he top imperial or is top two i think it was top four top four i definitely know aaron was top four rebel i remember i'm salty about that because i was fifth of the first <laughs> order. and then i was ninth overall <laughs> I, I miscut by i think like 15 mov or something like that it was nuts the locks finally come into play Focus for three, three hits. hits. One. Boom. Jess is down to one shield. Oh, right. That was uh, Nave 3 onto T73. And now we're activating Nave 4. Yeah. All right. I'm going to shoot range one on Jess. Whoa. Four hits. Crazy town. Yeah. Full All stick right, of butter. Jess. Oh, three she go through. Three. Just sitting on one hull. Uh, Yowza. Don't forget about Zeb. And he could finish off Jess. More fuel, fuel leaks. leaks everywhere. Plenty so of fuel leaks going around. This guy's around. actually down. He's down shields too, number three. T73 is T73 is down shields too. Oh, you got it now. Okay, good. You got it. We're all good. Oh, okay. All right, and something so, crazy has happened with Mark's score, but we'll fix that in a second. This is so tight. It's like this is really tight. This is really ship evenly matched. One dies and swings the whole game right now. Yeah. So Zeb's gone. I think he pieces out. What does he stick around for? Or does he just go one forward and try to pot shot somebody? Does the at chef the even have a reverse move? Can it do a K turn? I thought it. Well, doesn't it have a backup? So it looks like Nave Three can fit a sloop ship right in. Uh, there's a rock there. You're probably ship, gonna hit. I don't he, think. Loop this way? I think he might. You know, it's possible he could be clipping that rock. It's pretty, pretty mm, tight. Right. It is very close. It's pretty tight. I mean, be able to tell better if the, uh, you know, if it was my ship on the board, of course, but, mm -hmm. you know, if it is, ace move. But if not, they're just uh, analyzing the game mid game, yep. which is always entertaining to hear. Yeah. Aaron was not pleased with what he, his initial uh, approach. I don't apparently. agree with him, But I think it worked though. out really I mean, well. Yeah, the way yeah. he peeled off that T70 has proved to be really useful. That's this guy who almost got, almost killed yeah. Wedge. So yeah. no, he's no, been able to keep them away from double monitor attacks. Yeah, 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 game. definitely. Well, so there we go. We're Chef always harder on ourselves than we are on other people. Shethapede out there. Just going for the focus. Okay, Shethapede. So Mark seems to think he can fit it. All right. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he clips it. You're oh. right. You are right. You are right. He clipped it. Your eyes are much better than mine. Nicely done. You know, it's just like those those little, it's that little mustache yeah, one. It's it is always, always the little like, mustache. Don't or the worry finger about it. it just don't worry about it. The middle but, finger or whatever it is. Click, you know. Yeah. And I think he... Uh, did he roll for that? Yeah, he rolled an eyeball. It looked oh, like. Okay. Still, it's risky. And then also, coming back, he's got to go over That's it again. That's true. Now his blue maneuver is less than... I okay, well... Mm -hmm. 
They've got one bank. Oh, no, that's going to clip it again. Yeah. Ah, or ah. he's sitting on it, right? Yeah. So he better, he better be uh, make good use of that position because that is not a good spot to be But I in, think really. that guy still has a target lock out on someone. Yeah. He might actually have yeah, a target lock out on, on Right on that guy because there's... Here's his target lock here. Oh, okay. Looks like he's doing the U a K. Five forward. Uh, five forward? They no way. They can do five forwards, T seventies? Or maybe four forward? Four forward. Four forward? Really? Four oh, K. Four K. Okay. Yeah. That makes more sense. Which means the other one's gonna come up one forward. Yeah. To give her her rerolls. That yeah, that looks like that's how X wings go. They do the K turn. That's true. What's he gonna do? <laughs> what's he gonna do it with the four make any, forward? That's true. It didn't make any sense. Yeah, he's gonna go attack his friend. Yeah. You over here? I'm changing sides. Yeah. Let me I spend need points. Let me spend 25 minutes getting back in this game, <laughs> or I can just K turn. That's gonna slot in nicely. Look at that lovely flying. Yeah. Providing Jess her mods. Look at that. Yeah. It's almost as if that red squadron is an expert at flying. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah, wah. I'm sorry. All right. Try the deal. T70, Talon rolling. Oh, there you go. Just creating the old death box. All right. He had a good run there, number four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but now it's time to die. <laughs> Evaporate. Or Wedge, even. If Wedge is sitting there bumped, depends on what he does. Oh, I think he might have gone for a wedge block. Oh, no. Okay. That's not awful, though. Yeah. He still has a he still has an arc threatening wedge. Yep. He was thinking, he, Aaron's saying he wished he would have done the K. He would have had more guns on four, a potential block on wedge. You know. But, I mean, shoulda, woulda, coulda. He yeah. made, you make the best call you can. K turn from wedge? Yeah. Ooh, that'd be interesting. But, you know, why wouldn't out. he? I mean, it's either that or get shot. There's really not a better move for Wedge, but... Get close foils, 4-4 four, four boost. Possibly. We'll know in a second. Close the foils. Hard two. Ah. He's piecing. Uh, so he's just leaving that E-wing out to dry. Yeah. That makes sense. He's going to try to preserve Wedge for the end game. But as you said, he's definitely fed Knave number four oh, for yeah. breakfast. He did get his block, but he's also getting shot. I mean, stranger things can happen. T-73 might get a downtown bomb. Yeah. Oh. Hit crit. This could do it. Oh. He'll focus and take a crit, which if it's a direct. direct oh, my God. Hit that gets him. On Wedge. Goodbye, the hero wedge. of the resistance. He's, he's a rebel. <laughs> no, I mean oh. the, that heroic red squadron. <laughs> oh, okay. The guy who's expert, yes. an expert at flying. He sure is. He, that was a heroic shot. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was great. <laughs> now cleaning it up. Oh, they're calling for the marshal. Want an arc shot? Round four, wearing on. Yeah. Just had a very early start this morning. Yes. Roll call, 8:30 a.m. Yes. <laughs> I am definitely sleepy. <laughs> Fighting off a cold. Had some blue milk. It's warm. It's warmer than Tatooine in here. <laughs> it is a little bit <laughs> on the warmer side. It's true. Jess is so good, you got to see her four times. Oh, yeah, it's a very nice cascade of Jess Pava. Oh, man. Well, goodbye. Just going to suck it all up. Oh, I think that guy might have been undamaged. We might have been mistracking the damage. Uh, Nave 4 took damage, but I think they were shields, so we might have miscounted damage earlier. We'll have to confirm the damage state. Whoa, three hits, and two evades, and he can spend his focus to not die. Mark's just trying to see if he can keep this Ewing alive. Yeah, so he can get a shot to be alive. 
So shields down on that nave as well. So we had it we had it incorrectly damaged before. Yeah, no nave four shields down. Yeah. So Aaron's now trying to decide with that roll, knowing that that E wing is sitting on three life. He doesn't know if he wants to waste yep. Jess's re-roll. He's mathing it out. Yeah. I mean, he's not wrong in wanting to keep her around. She's a powerful piece for him, and I think he's making the correct call. Oh, look at that. He re-rolled it anyways. Ah, he went for the kill instead of keeping it for defense. Yeah. Uh, downtown on... Is that activating it, first? On the T70, or on the Shethapede. Oh, two evades. Shethapede using that back arc. So I wonder if he reuses Jess's reroll now. Oh, he already used it. I apologize. He used it on offense. I keep forgetting. Yeah. So Jess just landed a blinded? Yeah. So that, uh, so that Nave 3 is going to take that range 3 shot. Oh, no, he's shooting at Jess. Range 3 through the rock. Spending the lock. Three, three hits. hits. Oh, man. So she survived. She rolled she three lived, evades. She lived through it. Jess has, Jess has got it rough. She's got with two fuel leaks and blinded pilot on the field. So we're still keeping it a mystery as to how many points killed Mark has. Yeah, our, our producer, uh, Victor, is working on it. Let's see if we can figure out the little no. ghost in the machine there. Interesting to see. We have yet to have uh, Heroic play... Apart. Well, look at this. this. He makes it with the one bank. Wow. Okay. Awesome. He's just going to focus. Oh, he's trying to clear. So, trying to give her. Yeah, so it does look like he might clear that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Nice done. See, it does have a reverse. It does nice. have a reverse. Nice. So Mark going for shots. Oh, yeah, he's got to. Yep, absolutely. He's got to get back in. He's got to do whatever he can to kill something. Yep. It's probably one forward coming from the other one. Yep. On poor E wing number three. Nah. Just take a focus, Aaron. Don't worry, you're fixing your fuel leak. There you go. <laughs> Jess will probably come in from two bank. Oh, nice. Okay. He's going for an initiative kill. So just taking the focus for defense. Yep, just pile on that E-Wing. Yep. It's like, we knew you were going to be around this area, E-Wing guy. Maybe you two, Mithra Shethapede. Just waxing uh, strategy before the dice start flying. Here we go. Well, that's nice. A whiff. Mm-hmm. The E-Wing was enjoying that. Range two shot from T-73. All right, two hits. Uh, that's enough. All right, make it. And now one he's left down to that one guy. hole. Yeah. Range one. Oh, focus for two. And two, three evades. There of all like the evades that Mark has been waiting for all game. Yeah, they knew they were on there somewhere. They, they finally all showed up. Showed up. Yeah. <laughs> they decided to all show up at once. 
Okay. Two hits and a crit. So just do that again every time. All right. So bye-bye. It did take him four shots, though. Yeah. And Zeb's, Zeb's like, ha-ha, don't worry, guys. I got this. Yeah, he gets it. Here comes the heroic shot. Aaron trying to help Mark talk through who to attack. Yeah. <laughs> just trying to get full disclosure on all of your non-optimal you-can't-kill shots. So one hit, shut the beat, shoot at the back. I believe, oh, oh heroic, heroic, finally triggering. Heroic, comes finally double eights. coming Come on, up. You. Oh. No, double blanky blanks. Heroic blanks. again. Come on, do it again. So that guy survives on one hull. Like a champ. All yeah. right. So now it's E-Wing number two, yeah, so E-Wing number four, and Zeb. I believe uh, Red Squadron Expert 2 only has one hull left. The benefit of only having two dials now is it's faster <laughs> to program. It is. It's to think less. Yeah. And Aaron has to consider less targets to shoot. So. This is a war of attrition, though. Like This whole game has been yep. damage, 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 damage. Yep. Everybody's ships are hemorrhaging MOV. It's like oh, yeah. damage everywhere. Yeah, sorry about the little snafu, the little glitch in the matrix there for the null point, but Aaron P is winning. I mean, all but ap academic at this point. Aaron's got all of his ships pointing in the right direction to hose down Zeb, but does he need to commit so much of it to do so? I yeah. think he just sends two and four, so Jess and uh, that other guy to kill Zeb, and these other two guys just, you know, this guy just won forwards. This guy just went for I oh I can't draw anymore. Okay. Yeah, but they want uh, they can't ignore this guy. They gotta get rid of him. Yeah. They gotta That's get true. rid of that E Wing. You can't just let him hang out back there. I'm thinking this might this might be last round though, based on the clock. Definitely. So, so does be, Jess be, maybe Talons or K turns? I would be really surprised if they were could pull off this entire round in ninety seconds, yes. Yeah. All right. Mark is confident he's gonna be able to turn it around this turn though. Mm-hmm. Kill four ships of one. Well, he's just going to launch his three harpoon missiles that the E Wings have. Yeah, that's all. They can shoot three at once. <laughs> yeah, and harpoon uh, multiple hemorrhaging damage. Casc yeah, cascading crits. I mean, yeah. we've seen it happen before. Kill yeah. a ship with splash damage. Then yeah. that ship blows up and kills another ship with splash damage. <laughs> and then we're good. And they all have dead man switch, exactly. so. <laughs> That'd be awesome. There should be an alternate format where every ship has dead man switch. <laughs> We should do a furball that has oh. every ship having well, dead men's I don't know. We'll be playing Aces High later today. We'll see how many people decide, yeah, that's what I want to do. We should do Aces <laughs> High with dead men's switch on every single ship. Everybody's playing large base ships with dead men's switch. Great. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so in Aces High, you can play any size? It's not just small? Yeah, any size. Yep. Oh. It's just point value. Tonight, we're doing uh, 75 points. Uh, but I think that probably, you know, if you're doing it at, at higher point values, what they call, what in the uh, rule book they call the heavyweight class, the yep. 120 point, yep. it would just be a, a riot. Lot of yeah. So there'd be a lot, a lot of ghosts and a lot of. Uh, ghosts, haunts. mega Boba Fetts. Yeah. Mega Gurries. Yeah, 110 <laughs> point thick Gurry. <laughs> Kylo. Super yeah, Maddies. Killer Kylo. But, yeah, we're just going to play a conservative night. Just 75. It's like, let's not get nuts, everybody. Yeah, let's not get wild here. Maybe for PTL Open 4. Dial it all in. Yeah, at PTL Open 4, we'll be having Raiders and the Swiss. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they fit in 200 points. You can get yeah. a Raider for 150 base. Yeah. If, I, if you could, I would. I would absolutely fly a tournament with just a Raider. <laughs> One dial to set. I just go forward every single round. <laughs> just do zero. It's just, okay. <laughs> just come to me. I'll just broadside you. There's just five torpedoes. Zero. Zero bank. That's it. I'm just going to point my gun. Exactly. Rip you up. Oh, T-70 sad. No shot. No shot on that guy. Over here. Wow, look at this E-wing with he a one forward every arc? deking everybody out. And he's like, ho, ho, last round. Nobody's getting me, baby. Mark's like, yeah, but let me show you how I fly. <laughs> did he not? Did he like barrel roll there? Why does he have not any tokens? Did he just bump? He must have barrel rolled back. I don't know what. I, I'm embarrassed to admit that I, I missed it. Aaron is calling the judge, 
calling the marshal here. <laughs> Time has now been called. We're into the final seconds of the of the day one but of the PTL all, Open. for all the MLV. Marshall just soliciting bribes openly. Yep. <laughs> yep. Basically, that's literally <laughs> what he said. How much are you to pay me for this? Mark's like, well, I already lost, so nothing. So this he did dodge it, I think. Oh, well, dice are rolling. There's uh, no rerolls. I think it's a different attack. Okay. And no, so yeah, it was out of arc, and wow. that was that was uh, T seventy number two that just missed. Ho ho ho! And now Jess is just yeah. out of arc. So we're just playing for MOV at this point. So right. Mark just dodged three arcs. Wow, which is pretty amazing. <laughs> now Mark's just considering his targets for maximum return on his shot, but oh, here's Zeb, and with his downtown oh, up the back shot, Zeb, Zeb can be a hero. Oh, he just tried to do the advanced optics, but nope, that didn't work. And he got his evade. All right. All right, E-Wing with the final shot. Hit crit. Oh, oh disrespect. There disrespect we go. Bam. The last attack round. All right. Aaron P pulls it out. So that was a, that was a fun that was great. quirker of a match. That was Tons great. Tons of ships. Four ships still left on the board from Aaron. Yep. All of them wholesome.